Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Digital Painting with Jesus Conde and today we're going to be working on this uh, couple of paintings This is uh, uh, the first one is this ship and then we're gonna be talking about this a uh, kind of like a taxi uh, cap or something on the future um, Before starting I want to promote the work of Andrew Lugo. He posted this really cool poster on uh, Share your art group. If you want to uh, put your work there to be promoted. You can do that too and I'll just pick one every week. So let's get started with these paintings. Uh, this first one, if you notice, I have a, a perspective grid on the background. You can get the perspective grid on my perspective grid um, video uh, a couple of episodes uh, back. And as you can see, I'm starting to just do random um, brush strokes on there just to get an idea. Uh, this one came uh, kind of um, quick, I wasn't expecting that, but it, it was that way. And it really is uh, kind of like, uh, it's a little bit of luck and also trying to find a design on those shapes that I'm doing uh, that I really like. Like I have nothing prepared, no sketch before this. And this is just me trying to find something. Once I get this uh, kind of like uh, something that I like, um, I just have to start developing that idea even further. But notice that I'm painting uh, far away at the beginning. I'm not concentrating in any details at all at this point. So I'm just trying to do something cool with the shapes, a little bit of a, um, a little bit of uh, kind of like blending some parts so I can see more clear uh, surfaces but nothing too specific also trying to fix some mistakes uh, there you can see that I moved that part a little bit more to the to one of the sides because it didn't match the perspective too well and you want to be doing these kinds of things um, slowly and trying to find the, what you like while doing it Obviously, um, this perspective helps a lot and you can just tune it on and off uh, whatever you want because there's nothing uh, like it's not like a tool from Photoshop, it's just some grid that I made myself. And I want to try to put the link on the description so you guys can download it if you, if you want. Um, but it's really nothing fancy at all, just have the, the grid in there. You put it on a layer and then you paint underneath so you can see the grid all the time. And if you turn on and off the layer, you can see it or unsee it, whatever you like. Um, but you're gonna, you're gonna have to use it most of the time so you kind of see the mistakes. Um, it really helps, it really does help when you have a guide like this. And as you can see, once I add these uh, shapes that I really like, done basically i can start uh, relaxing a bit more and start to enjoy the the process and and be trying to look make it look cooler instead of finding the shape once i have the shape that i like um, i can i can start concentrating on those things um, it's really bad when i i spend a lot of time working on the on the sh on the ship shape idea and I don't get something that I like so I just keep changing it until the end um, so some of the designs I don't like too much or are kind of uh, lazy or they look really neutral or boring that's why because I, I in the, at that in that one I couldn't find the, what I wanted uh, but this one came out cool in my opinion uh, something some people could say otherwise but I really like the shape of this one and you can see how it tilt the, the image uh, in there uh, for that I have to select the, the perspective grid obviously and turn it to the side with the shape at the same time with all the everything that I had underneath so I could um, move the whole thing around don't change the, perspe the perspective that will be a pain <clears throat> so now that I have this uh, done, this part done, that I have the design nailed down, I just have to put some detail on it. And if you have seen some of my other videos, I try, sometimes I divide the, the painting in four parts and detail the painting um, like just a, a, this, like one 
fourth at the time. I don't paint the whole thing at the same time because for me it's very difficult to concentrate on just um, doing the whole image at the same time. For me it's easier this way, I need to make it easier for me. And this works for me and, and I've been using it for a lot of time and, and I will keep using it until I don't know when. Now we jump to the other side of the image and I just work on that part of the image for like depending on the time how much I, time I, I have. Uh, in this case I think it was like 10 minutes per, per part and then it was like uh, everything was like 40 minutes so the whole image could have taken one hour and, and 20 or one hour and 30. Uh, something to keep in mind though is that this image was uh, done completely uh, with my creativity I didn't have any directions to do it so maybe that's why this painting comes so fast because I don't have anyone saying you have to do this or that not that there's a problem with that but in terms of creativity like you tend to work faster when you when you're doing what you like or you are not actually solving any problems uh, for anyone like if you're working on a studio and you're doing concept art you're basically trying to think what they want and that takes time too uh, it's not the same as painting something for your own when you're like uh, just doing whatever you want, whatever you like. Uh, these kinds of stuff come easier because you're actually just trying to find something that you you like instead of something that uh, could be useful or something that uh, hundreds of people will like on a game or something like that. So this is way more fun. Uh, but it's way more free, so that that could be. I could argue that uh, part of the fun is that freedom, and that you only get that when you do this job by yourself, like for fun, really. Uh, sometimes in work you can do fun stuff too, but most of the time it's trying to solve problems, and it's not as. Uh, it's cool and and nice to work on that too, but. Um, you basically trying to uh, ask questions to yourself all the time, trying to to think of what what the shape needs to be done. It, and sometimes you also you actually get sloppy with that. You you do stuff that were not needed, or you you do stuff that uh, is not actually answering anything. It's actually creating more problems <laughs> and stuff like that. So you get whatever. Anyway, I talk way uh, too much about other things. But as you can see, it's basically just adding more detail and trying to find some values on the on the image that look correct uh, somehow. And if you have seen uh, my other episodes of, of the ships, uh, you will see that I have like a like a small uh, list of logos as you can see here, and I just put those in there. Uh, they look really pasted. Somebody tell me they look like you just put it in there and, and like no, no matter what and I'm like well that's exactly what I'm doing I'm trying not to think too much when I do that it's, re it's very important when you copy things you turn off the perspective grid because if you, you don't you will copy everything with the perspective grid on and that's that's bad anyway this is the final result of this one now we're going to be working on their other image I really hope you like the result I really enjoy how it looks like it's going really fast, but it's it's actually just the paint stroke, the painting strokes that look that way, the brush strokes. It's not like it, it, I did it on purpose. It just looks that way. Anyway, this one, I I'm using a color palette that I got from a painting, um, a page called. Um, let me see how it was called. So the page is called uh, colors.co but the colors instead of just colors is cool so coolors coolors.co and then you will get like random combinations of color that really match that I they are like nice looking uh, depending on the kind of um, combination that you want could be by um, just the primary colors um, uh, harmony of color depending on the harmony of color that you that you want to see you will get a result uh, randomly and 
what I, that, that does is that you get yourself free from thinking what color should I use or at least that's my logic behind it like I want to be free of that like I, I, I don't want to be thinking too much and also that will be taken as inspiration like if you see a palette of color that you like that means that um, you're getting uh, your way way ahead of the creativity uh, in my opinion because you start to think stuff that you didn't think before like uh, okay what can I do with these colors or this is what kind of mood could I create with this but you gotta be painting right away like you don't have to think too much or at least that's my logic behind it like I tried not to for these ones I, I don't want to be in so much control so I can create uh, crazy things for example the taxis the taxi theme came way later like I didn't know what to do and I was like okay well this is looking nice and I really like so let's paint in yellow to see what happens and then obviously just by painting that color it kind of looks like a taxi so I was like okay so let's just make this a taxi but then I was really doubtful about if I should do uh, people what uh, how can I make it clear that it's a taxi well obviously you had you need like the some stripes on the side and you need like a uh, the little thing on top that says taxi or cap or whatever and then maybe put some people in there but I was really thinking hard about what should I do in that part so because I think a lot of stuff all the time that maybe that's what I'm trying to find some different solutions for my um, ideas with that with this um, palette of colors and random shapes and stuff like that because I don't want to think more and I really like how, how I was looking here even here I was like okay so I really like how this is looking so I just hope I don't screw this up and then I was like okay so this is a really weird taxi like this will not be functional at all and then I saw well because it has these little um, and things on the top like a little cockpit on the top maybe that's the part where the where the people get in and then that could be like uh, repeated somehow so it looks like just getting this one that is smaller and whatever tax is going there uh, it catches it or somehow so it's kind of like a taxi slash bus thing it's not just a taxi uh, it, it could be a, like a really weird solution on this planet whatever this is so it's fun it's functional there um, and then I was thinking well it doesn't have to be that functional either maybe I just want it to look cool and that could be a reason to like whatever it doesn't really matter I just want it to look really nice and then obviously comes the rendering part like I want to do I, I don't want to just uh, um, I make a cool painting it has to be a cool idea I really have my cool idea or at least, at least what I think is cool and now you have to concentrate on make the idea be well painted because if not it's like nobody's going to like it either it doesn't matter how cool it is um, so here I'm like ba basically just fighting against time to finish this one uh, I put some people in here doesn't look so good but it looks good enough in my opinion <laughs> Uh, you, you kind of understand that it's a painting and it's a bit big actually the, the, the ship is a bit big uh, but I, I believe like if, it, if it's not that big it doesn't look like it's actually cool work or something uh, in my opinion that's something that I just think uh, when you do stuff that is way too small for me it looks like it looks weird looks like a toy um, if you do something large enough that you can like ask yourself well maybe it's too big I don't know well I guess it could work because it's a ship and it should have a lot of stuff going on there like anti-gravitational systems and turbines and all these controls and stuff you can expect it to be um, small like if you see the difference in size of a car with a person and then with a uh, uh, like a jet plane or or something like a, let's see a F-22 Raptor or something those things are pretty big considering the size of a person inside of it 
So it will be something in between, I guess, in my opinion. Between uh, something that flies like that and a car. <clears throat> and bulky. Also depends on the on the place that you're trying to convey. You want to do something kind of like uh, they don't care too much about shape. I mean, this shape for me, this shape is cool, but it's not like super pretty. It's very um, like uh, it's, it's a bit random and, and not so aesthetic at all. It's just maybe it's functional there, and that's it. It's not like well designed. It's not very well designed. Also, it looks kind of dated. It doesn't look like a new shape or anything. It looks like maybe something um, that was a cool ship before, but it's definitely not a cool ship now. Um, so that also, maybe that's why I like this uh, penny so much. <clears throat> and now I'm trying to just add stuff on the background so it doesn't look so empty. Uh, because when it looks empty, it's all looking fake to me or like undone. Uh, also changing a little bit of uh, levels here and there or brightness and contrast so I can find some, uh, make it less, uh, I don't know, it, it looks very washed, it, it didn't look um, contrasty at all. And now I'm trying to put some highlights everywhere so I can uh, put some volume on it. <clears throat> I also like when things look like you have a, list, a lot of stuff going on around and I wanted to try this lens effect but I didn't know how to do it, so I just did it with the curves. And I thought it worked pretty well. I thought it worked pretty well, considering the time that it took to do and the result. And it looks way more interesting than before. Before it looked, it looked good, but it didn't have something. It, it needed something, in my opinion, to make it look better. And I think that was it. <clears throat> also, this one had, had a better response on Instagram. And I tend to believe it because of that, because of that um, difference, it just look different than the others that I've made. <clears throat> and at this point, I'm just thinking about, you know, like doing the some polishing on it without getting too crazy because I don't have too much time left and things like that. I'm trying to, to put some a little bit more detail on the background and cleaning stuff here and there trying to keep matching the perspective which uh, is difficult once you do that change and here I'm trying to add some color to it so it doesn't look like so flat it just looks a little, uh, a little bit prettier uh, I had a lot of time without doing this kind of thing like adding that that color like, well, like if I'm using a warm color put like a warmer color in there so it looks a little bit more uh, prettier and that's it okay so this was the second painting and this is it guys this is it for this episode please follow me on instagram and, and twitter you have the links in the, uh, there and for the outro i wanna suggest that you follow uh, easy sosa on that's an english channel you can see english content in there and emac which is its art magazine uh, page and channel too if you're looking for content on Spanish, you have uh, Barros Studio, which has like um, ZBrush uh, uh, content very, very well too. Ramon19 uh, is, a, is a beast on drawing characters in Caleriana, which is uh, her, uh, his wife. And he does some character too, but very, very cute and girly style. I really like what she does. And at the left you have all my pages and the, the group on Facebook to share your art. You can find the links in the description for, for these pages and that's it. Thank you very much and see you next time.